Hello, my name is Rover. I'm what you call a remote operated vehicle. The R is my model number, which I like to think stands for Robert. Am I a pet? Am I a camera? Am I an undersea robot? Well, I'm all three, but what I really am is a maze. I get to go places most people never venture. My exploration assignments take me all over the world. I never know where I'll be heading next. I have a bird's eye view of our destination as we head there, and I am briefed to board our plane. I have never been to the Bimini Islands before. They are located here, about 100 miles off the eastern Florida coastline. It looks like a cool vacation spot, but I will be working. From our plane, we board our research ship and anchor at this special location. As I prepare for a new adventure, a crewmate lowers me with a crane into the Atlantic Ocean. Once I am in the water and break free of the harness, I'm off on my way. I'm here to look for what some say is an underwater road. The mystery is, is it a man-made road or just a thing of nature? Maybe I can find out. It's called the Bimini Road because it is just off the shores of the Bimini Islands. It's not far down either. Divers have explored it many times. If it is a road, it must have been above water at one time. It is amazing. It really does look like a road. The cable trailing behind me sends movies of what I see up to our research ship. I have a partner on the ship named Dave. He actually helps guide me. Dave is watching where I am at this very moment and watching over me too. Dave can steer me in the right direction and make sure I am safe. But things look pretty safe down here. I'll just follow the road. The Bimini Road stretches one half mile beneath the water from northeast to northwest. It lies only 15 to 20 feet below the water's surface. I feel like I'm actually driving over a road, but was all this man made? Did people once use this as a road? Was it once on dry land? Or is this just an unusual collection of rocks together that looks like a road? That's something Dave and the crew will have to figure out. One thing for sure, it's not often I get to drive down a road on the ocean floor. But I do see something up ahead that I can identify. I have to get in close so Dave can see this. This is an ancient ship anchor. Let me get in as close as I can with my camera lens. Dave will know what this is right away because of the hole carved out in the stone. Dave and I have seen many of these around the ancient ports of Egypt. He's going to be surprised there's one here. I can imagine Dave smiling right now at what we are seeing together. Wooden vessels during biblical times used a large stone for an anchor. A hole was bored through it where a rope was tied and then attached to the ship. I have been signaled to come home. This has been very cool. I hope all I captured might lead to an answer of what the Bimini Road really is. But for now, it's back into the harness and back aboard the ship. I wonder where we're headed next. Explorers are always searching for answers, but I'll leave that up to the crew. Whatever I encounter, God knows the answer. And that's good enough for me.